Welcome everyone. Why do we need meditate? Maybe you might think, oh, my life is wonderful now. I don't need to meditate. Meditation is only for those people who have problem. Maybe problem in your mind, mental problem, or material problem, problem with your relationship with your husband and wife, or in your life, in, at work, or lost your job, you are unhappy, depressed, then you should learn to meditate and to make your mind calm and peaceful. Otherwise, no need to meditate, you know. But, of course, meditation is good for when you have problem to make your mind calm, peaceful, and joyful. But, also, even you have no problem. If you meditate, it's good for you. You can do more. Your mind becomes more peaceful, more open. It is good for you to allow to manifest your own basic goodness. What do we call basic goodness? You have love, compassion. You have wisdom. You have joy. You have capability and power already exist within you. By meditation, it is good to allow you to manifest your basic goodness. And this way your mind, your mind naturally becomes calm, peaceful, and what we call pliable, walkable. Means, it means normally our mind is like crazy monkey. Blah, 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 blah. And you cannot control your mind. Mind controlling you. The monkey mind controlling you. But by meditation, you have to control. This is why your mind becomes calm and peaceful. And of course, meditation is good for when you have problem. Problem become your friend. Okay, let me let me tell you my own experience. Okay, I will tell you one special story. Not very special. Maybe you already know this story. When I was young, I had panic disorder. Although my parents are wonderful, I have very kind mother and father. I was born in northern part of Nepal, right? middle of the Himalayas, Himalayas. In fact, I have one of the highest mountain in Nepal. Snow mountain, you know, glaciers, very nice, beautiful. In the morning, sun radiates to the mountain. And the glaciers mountain, you know, become like golden color. So nice. But, although I have nice family, nice environment, but panic follow me like a shadow and I was looking for some solution and my grandfather was also a very good meditator when I look at him he's meditating peacefully calm very nice I in inspired by him nearby my house there are a lot of caves I think you know, yeah, in the Himalayas, there's a lot of caves. And sometimes I ran from my house to the cave, pretending there, meditate. Although I have no idea about meditation. 
I just sit there, you know, what should I do, wondering, and maybe follow the Rasulullah, you know. And one day I thought, what should I do? I thought maybe I should say something in my mind, say some words, what we call mental recitation, mental recitation. And I did that, feels nice, feels like I did something, although I don't know what I did. When I was nine years old, I asked my father to teach me meditation. My father was a great meditation teacher. But I'm shy to ask him directly. I approached my mother to ask my father to teach me meditation. And my father was excited. I was so happy. But first I asked a question, saying, some words in your mind, is it that meditation or not? He said, yes. I was so happy. Then I learned many meditation techniques. How open your mind, open present, open awareness, and how to use panic, not only the panic, any other circumstances as support for meditation. Make friends with the problem. And how to bring your mind calm and peaceful, and become pliable and walkable. I learned a lot, and I was so happy. But I am a lazy boy. I love the idea of meditation, but I don't like the practice of meditation. This is why I still suffer by panic. I feel fear for strangers, fear for natural disasters like snowstorm, earthquake, and sometimes there's fear without reason. Just I get dizzy and my heart beat raise and sweat sometimes without reason. Then when I was 11 years old, I moved to India place called Shirabling, and I learned a lot of meditations from many other teachers, but again I am lazy. But when I was 13 years old, there's traditional three-year retreat going to start. And I thought, oh, I should join in retreat, but I'm a little bit afraid that maybe they may not accept me because I, I'm too young. But I asked through my father. <laughs> to ask His Eminence Thay Rinpoche, which is head of the, our monastery, and he kindly accept, and I can join in three-year retreat. But first year of three-year retreat, my panic get worse. And special, when we in the group prayers, sometimes we use some music instrument, boom, boom, you know, this noise drive me crazy, and I have to out of the prayer session, I cannot join, you know. But most of the time we are meditating alone in the room, so I feel happy about that. But I'm not really applying meditation technique. Then one day I ask question, question. One day I ask myself a question, which is, I still have two more years to go. That's why. I thought, do you really want to apply meditation technique or not? Or do you just want to spend like this unhappy with two more years? Then I decided to apply meditation technique with my panic. I sat in my room for three days using my panic as support for my meditation. My panic was gone. 